Now that we've created the application, the next thing we need to do is create sign-in and encryption key containers. Uh, and we also need to create and register another two applications to accommodate for the B2C login process. So let's go ahead and do that. So again, within your Azure B2C um, directory, search for your B2C. You wanna then go ahead and go into Identity Experience Framework, go into Policy Keys and click on Add. Next, ensure that the options is set to Generate and give this a name. So for this, we're gonna go ahead and call this Token Signing Key Container. And we're gonna go ahead and ensure that the key type is RSA and the key usage for this purpose is Signature. So go ahead and create that. Click on add again. And this time we are again uh, going to ensure that it's set to generate for the options. This name will be called token encryption key container. And again, set the key type to RSA, but this time we wanna make the key usage set to encryption and go ahead and click create. The next thing we need to do is register two uh, applications. So we're going to go ahead and click back into Azure AD B2C, App Registrations, New Registration. And for this one, we're going to give it the name of Identity Experience Framework. And we want to ensure that it's set to this directory only. And the next thing we want to do is we want to set the redirect URI um, the pl platform to be type of web. Now, of course, here for me, this is apps365.org.btclogin.com. Uh, so you'll need to replace this with your as your BTC tenant name. Uh, so it'll be your tenant name .btclogin.com, your tenant name uh, .onmicrosoft.com. Go ahead and click register. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and click on expose an API. And in here, we want to add a new scope. You will have to set an application ID URI. So for this, I'm just going to go ahead and put identity experience framework. And then I'm going to save and continue. We then need to create a scope uh, and this scope will be user impersonation. And we're going to go ahead and just give a brief uh, display name and description of what this will be. Go ahead and click Add Scope. We now need to register the proxy identity experience application. So we're going to go ahead and click back into App Registrations, click New Registration, and as I mentioned before, this will be called Proxy Identity Experience Framework. And again, this will need to be for single tenant, so this organization only. And we want to go ahead and then click on uh, public uh, client native mobile and desktop. And then in here, my app colon forward slash forward slash auth. Again, just ensure that the admin consent uh, is, is set for open ID and offline access permissions and go ahead and click register. Next thing you want to do is under the manage, uh, you want to click on authentication again. And we just want to go ahead and enable this option here, which is to allow uh, public client flows. Go ahead and click save. Once that's done, we want to go into API permissions. We then want to give this access to the identity framework application that we, uh, we had registered just previously. So go ahead and click on add permission. APIs my organization uses and find the identity experience framework application give delegated permissions to the user impersonation and go ahead and click add permissions and then we want to grant admin consent for this organization for this permission go ahead and click yes 